Updated tour on how the place is looking. So it looked nothing like the product photo. I've been here for exactly one month now. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you saw by the title, today's video is going to be another moving series vlog. This vlog will include our moving weekend and updated house tour and just kind of some updates around the place since we've moved in. We have been living here for exactly one month now. We moved in on March 16th. Today is April 16th, so it has been exactly one month at the new place. I did want to just kind of pop on here to film a proper introduction just because I'm already warning you guys, this video is literally all over the place from when we packed up at the old place, moved here, did some little home updates and all that good stuff. I honestly wasn't even gonna post this video just because I feel like the timeline of my videos have been a little bit all over the place. As you can imagine, it has been a pretty hectic last few months, but we pretty much have all the big things. So I'm excited to show you guys how the place is looking. But with all that being said, let's go back a few weeks and right into a moving weekend. Today is Sunday. Today is a moving day, which is why the apartment is currently looking extra crazy. We're just packing up the last of our things, loading it in the U-Haul, and tonight we will be staying at the new place. So very exciting. It's been a very chaotic past few days. We've been making trips from the old place to the new place, and today is where we're gonna finally have everything moved over. We are getting internet set up today. So yeah, today's vlog might be extra chaotic. I was debating if I should even vlog this just because I don't know how much I'm gonna get, and to be honest, I'm just kind of all over the place, but I'm gonna try and get as many clips as I can. And yeah, I guess the next time I check in with you guys, we'll be at our new place with all our new stuff. We were supposed to get painting done yesterday, but our painter actually had a medical emergency. So that got postponed to Wednesday. So I think we're gonna keep a majority of our furniture in our garage until we have the walls painted just so, you know, it's easier for the painter and we don't have to worry about moving furniture around. But that's the update so far. Also missing a nail, so if you saw that, just ignore it. I'm, again, I'm a mess, it's chaotic. vlogging on my phone right now, but I just packed up my car. My husband is on U-Haul duty over there. I have Gavin right here. He's crying because he's looking for dad, but we are getting ready to drive over to the new place. I think we're gonna make one more stop back here just to get the last remaining things and clean up the apartment a little bit. But other than that, we are going to be spending the night at the new place. It's actually Gavin's first time in the front seat and he's doing a good job. He's usually in the back, but we have our work monitors there. So he gets a shotgun today and he's doing pretty good, I will say. It has been a day, guys, but we are at the new place. We have internet now. Gavin was being a little bit of a handful, but we're gonna make a trip back to the old place to pick up the last of the stuff, maybe clean a little bit. Someone did end up wanting to buy one of our old desks that we had, so hopefully we can get rid of that tonight. And then we have to drop off the U-Haul. And then we have to set up our workstation because we are working tomorrow bright and early. So as you guys can tell, we're exhausted. We're tired. We're hungry. We have leftover pizza from last night, but that has been pretty much the update so far. I did kind of start organizing the um, kitchen area a little bit. I definitely need to get more kitchen organizers, but 
I'll show you guys what the pantry is looking like so far. So here is what the pantry situation is looking like so far. We still need to make a run to Costco, but that is what it's looking like. I do have more of these in the garage that I need to just find and unbox. And then I do want to get more of these organizers also for our bathroom. But yeah, that's kind of what the pantry situation is looking like right now. And the place is going to be a little work in progress for a while. I wasn't sure if I even wanted to keep these bar stools from the old place, but they are new. We just got them not that long ago, maybe a few months ago. So I think once we get the rest of our furniture, we're going to decide if we're going to keep the bar stools or get rid of them. But they do match our coffee table that we will be bringing up and our bar cart. So I think once we see how everything looks, we'll see how everything is looking tied together. But yeah. <laughs> slash guest room the guy who was helping us do the paint for our place just went to pick up his daughter but it's looking really good it's not so bright and white in our face anymore so I like it a lot it's a little bit lighter than the brown that we had at our last place and then I'll show you guys how the master bedroom is looking like just add some dimension Gavin <laughs> That's the zoomies right now. Gavin, come on, let's go. Okay, that is a little update on how the place is looking like so far. Now I'm excited to start ordering a couch, a dining table, all that good stuff. We have a day bed ordered from Ikea that is coming in a few weeks, or actually coming this week. So things are happening, things are moving. Sorry, lighting. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys in a bit. Hope you enjoyed all that footage like i said earlier we have been living here for a month we actually just had our housewarming party this past weekend we had some friends over my family came into town and me and my husband actually joined a running club here so some of the girls that i met this past month were able to come as well so it was a really good turnout it was a lot of fun but yeah i will go ahead and show you guys a updated tour on how the place is looking we pretty much have all the big stuff i want to say it's just kind of the little touches we want to add here and there here's gavin he's chilling here with me he did just get a haircut a few days ago so he is like freshly groomed but yeah i will go ahead and give you guys a tour right now all right so again starting from the entranceway here is the main living room area i did repurpose this um like frame with some of our engagement photos from our last place and so coming again this way 
Here is an overview of our living room. I did get our couch from Living Spaces. My husband's family actually got this for us, so that was really nice of them. And they also got us our curtains, as well as our bamboo blinds. That was all from Amazon, so if you are interested in any of these items, I will have them linked on my storefront, but I love how it came out. I think it just looks so good, very neutral. I, as you can see, there is not a lot of color going on in the living area, but I'm really happy with how this area is turning out. And then over here, we did get a new TV. I eventually do want to get rid of this TV console and get a different one. I do think we need a little bit of a bigger entertainment console just because the wall looks pretty bare on the right side. We're still trying to figure out the situation. That plant, that fake plant I have over there, we had from the old place. Same with the coffee table and our rug. Eventually, I do also want to get another coffee table, but for now, this will work. My husband keeps reminding me we don't have to get everything new right now, so... We're taking it little by little, but I'm just glad we got the big stuff in. And then again, the kitchen, we really didn't do much. As you can see, I have lots of flowers, um, just because we did have our housewarming party and people brought some flowers, which I love. And here is the dining area. Again, curtains, bamboo blinds, curtain rod, all that is from Amazon. Dining table was from Wayfair, and I'm actually so bummed out because I love the style of this table but we are returning it because this was actually supposed to come in a light oak color, and this is more of a brownish color, so it looked nothing like the product photo um, that we hoped it would come out to be. It's, it was actually supposed to be a little bit more of this kind of color, so they're gonna pick it up on Thursday, we're gonna return it, and we're going to start our dining table search all over again, but I'm hoping we find a good one soon. I do think this is really nice, but again, I didn't want to settle and keep this just because I know long-term wise, I'm not going to be happy with it. I'm just not a huge fan of this color, but I love this style and I love the little gold accent piece over there. So hopefully I can find the table that I wanted in the right color sooner than later. And then here is our bar cart, just the same bar cart we had from the last place. And again, that is an overview of the dining, kitchen, and the living room area. Gavin has really made himself comfortable here. He is loving it. And then going into the hallway, I don't even want to show you guys our office slash guest room right now just because it's so crazy. It's definitely still a work in progress. As you can see, I have clothes everywhere. Gavin's toys are on the floor. He has some ripped up toys on the floor. So... This is a work in progress room. I will show you guys another time. But here is the restroom. Didn't really do much here. We kept our old shower curtains from the last place, as well as the mirrors, and just, just have a candle, just some little things. Rug is from Ikea, but just very simple. Again, very neutral, as you can tell. I am a little bit afraid to play with color, but maybe we will bring some more color into the place soon. And then going back up this way, here is the master bedroom. Again, very neutral, very happy with how it's looking. It's just very simple, again, very neutral. This mirror was from our last place. We did keep our bed frame, but I did end up getting a new mattress on Amazon. And it is, as you can, I don't know if you can actually tell, but it's pretty firm. I'm very happy with it. It was like $300. So again, if you're interested in that, it is linked on my storefront, but really happy with it. We've been sleeping so good the past few weeks. So highly recommend that mattress if you are looking for one without breaking the bank. I will, again, have that mattress linked on my storefront, curtains, rod, Amazon, and this dresser I actually kept from the old place. I did get it just a few months ago, so um, we're not sure what to do with this wall. We do have an extra TV. I just personally do not want a TV in our master bedroom, so if we don't end up mounting the TV, I think we want to get maybe a large mirror. And then over here, we do want to get some kind of large art piece. But we're, again, we're having a hard time trying to figure out all the little details just because I'm so indecisive. So, so until we find something that really shouts at us, I think this wall might be bare for a little bit longer. 
And here's the restroom. I've shown you guys our restroom before in our empty house tour. We haven't really done much here yet, but yeah. And then the hallway, hallway is still bare. I did see this brand called Mixed Tiles on Instagram where you can basically make photo collages with photo frames. So I'm looking into that. I definitely want to utilize some of our wedding photos in this area. I think that would be a really nice touch. That's not so like in your face when you come here. But yeah, that is just some of the updates at the new place. Me and my husband, like I said, we have been here for exactly one month now. We're adjusting really well. We love it here. The views are gorgeous. Everyone has been very friendly so far. We've been meeting a lot of people, so we're really happy with our decision. And I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Again, sorry if it's all over the place. <laughs> bear with me. We will be going back to normal content soon, so bear with me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.